last night I Ew. put my Gross. phone under my pillow. Oh, okay, gotcha. And then when I woke up this morning, it was gone, but there was a dollar there. I'm, sh- I'm, I'm certain it was the Bluetooth fairy. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks for Patreon. Follow us on Twitter, subscribe to the like button. It's so juicy. And if you ever sensually spank somebody, make it really hard. Yep. <laughs> Don't take that advice. Doesn't always have to be that hard. Hard enough. Uh, today, uh, welcome back. Today we're doing a movie review uh, of the 1985 film... Paroma. Or if you're Bengali, Paroma Momomo. No, Poroma. Po, Poroma. Poroma. No, Poroma Momo. No, there's no stutteringly mumbo jumble jumbles in Bengali. Bo, bo. There's like 15 O's. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, directed, written, and starring. Uh, well, sort of. Uh, yeah. Uh, a, a Parma? Yes, Aparna, 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 Aparna Sen. Sen. Uh, and this is, I believe, our first introduction to her, either as a director or as a actress. Uh, outside of, I think she was a voice in Death in the Gunge, I saw. I saw that, too. Um, so I guess... But yeah, it's kind of crazy that it's, we haven't been introduced been, yeah. to her yet. <laughs> uh, and <laughs> it's the first I know of that Konkana Sen Sharma is... Nepotism, baby. Yep. God. I hate that nepotism gave us well, Konkana Sen Sharma. And her parents were Ugh. were in the industry. Her mom was apparently a costume designer. and The Bengali so film industry is just, just full of nepo babies. I just any industry that wants another relative to be involved in the business, I, I, I can't comprehend Especially why you would do that. Especially ones untalented. It, it would be like someone having a YouTube channel and bringing their kids on. I would never do that. Oh, me neither. Uh, anyways, this did come out in uh, 1985. I wanted to get to something that wasn't such it rai. Because uh, <laughs> yeah. I think nine out of ten Bengali films we've watched yes. are Sachi Dubrai. But I, we're still going to get to every Sachi Rai film at some point. Of, of course. <laughs> because we love him and we want to get to his whole filmography because he's one of the greats of all time. But obviously there's so much more that we need to explore of Bengali cinema. Her is a big part included. Um, so this will be 100 cents for the view. So if you haven't watched it, I, it yeah. is on YouTube. Uh, that's the only place we found it. Um and, but if if you don't need subtitles, obviously you might be able to find it. Might be able to find it somewhere else. More places than that. Yeah. But, for example, I know you can get. There's one left in stock. Uh, Amazon has it on DVD. I didn't see that it was subtitled. So if you speak Bengali, you're you're good to go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, but uh, Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Um, I will take, I wrote this in my notes, give me flawed stories of deep importance over flawless entertainers of little to no importance every day of the week. Mm. Because the film does have some flaws, but they are so forgivable when you consider the importance of the messaging and the highlight of so much in the film that's done so, so well. I abs- I can't wait to talk about it because I love this movie. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I got recommended because i i asked somebody um what because obviously they were like let's get to some non such ride right stuff and right. i was like okay what i don't know <laughs> i need recommendations yeah <laughs> um and so they was like well you can get to a bunch from uh on from um a, a parna sen, yeah a parna sen. um that you haven't explored yet and so i was like okay that sounds great yeah uh and then so i kind of just rifled through a couple um that that they suggested and i landed on this one i'm, I'm very happy i did because it, one it sounded intriguing once again a very ballsy film for uh india in 1985 beyond um beyond ballsy in terms of like one the story right it's not a story that's like i know it's not bollywood but like happy romance bollywood right um once again i know it's not bollywood uh but and it's also just what they decide to show Mm -hmm. and the deep story that they decided to tell because it's it's not a story that's like black and white it's like (laughs) the characters in it are extremely gray Mm -hmm. uh for for especially for the time 
mm -hmm. uh, of when this was out. And so maybe that that's her kind of whole thing. And from what I've read, it kind of, I think it is like, sh this was like her style of not only acting, but directing as well. She also had, Kankana has her eyes like. Oh my stars. Oh my, like it's like, like you see, like one of the things I always note when we watch Kankana outside of her brilliant acting is she has these deep expressive eyes. Mm -hmm. And I found out where she got it, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's her. Uh, and well, well so, uh, you mean when you saw her? When because, I saw her, sorry. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but there's so much about this film I want to talk about. But yeah, I also yeah. just really, really, really enjoy this movie. Let's talk about the performances first, because that's what yeah. we like to talk the about. The acting, uh, our our main lead. Talk about her. Who is? If you read up on her, we would not know. And if I'm mispronouncing the name, as always, forgive me. I believe it's. Rocky Goldzar, mm -hmm. and I everything I needed, she gave to us in the role. I cared about her. She was so good. Um, I believed her. Um, she had great complexity. There was no indicating that I could see. She's a beautiful woman, which makes it so, so believable why the photographer falls in love with her. Mm -hmm. Um, and why he'd want to, you know, take pictures of her and put her in a magazine because she isn't just interesting. She's strikingly pretty. Mm -hmm. And I I just felt that she did, for the fact that she's the titular character, she did great service to it. And I, I found her to be the primary reason mm -hmm. among many reasons. But she's... You know, the story is paramount, and right after story comes her performance for me. Yeah, absolutely. She gave, and it was so, an incredible arc of her character from where she An amazing met, character study. When we met her in the beginning. Amazing character study. And um, it was so nuanced. Um, yeah, her character was so good. Uh, and her performance was so good. I would love to see so much more. <laughs> and I was practice. thinking, and please, I don't mean this as an insult. Please don't take it that way. Because it's endearing. The two qualities I'm about to express are both endearing to these industries. But <laughs> Bengali cinema, especially older Bengali cinema, is the anti-Malayalam in terms of the speed in which people talk. Yes. <laughs> Much slower. <laughs> yes, much Malayalam films. I consistently blah, blah, find blah, myself blah. having to keep up with the with the subtitles. And in a lot of the old films, well, granted, we've seen mostly Sajid Rai. I was taken by how many moments of silence, and you could have a five minute scene with basically only five lines being said. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, her performance, her character arc, her relationships with everyone from her husband to the the photographer man. Um, and their chemistry and her longing for um, intimacy and how much they told us about her past without actually telling us. It you, was you kind of like you could tell like how the relationship started, how it's going. Yeah. Even though there were some clues as to like how she's treated. Yeah. Uh, and and how she's not um, beloved like as a woman. And and even though like she wasn't seeking out this affair, mm -hmm. it kind of happened to her and they didn't like explain that away as like right uh oh she's doing so good like her husband wasn't like a, a beater or anything right like that. right obviously they gave indications that he might have looked at other women at, at certain times well and he was they... definitely emotionally abusive in terms yes. of his complete void yes. of just pure selfishness in the relationship but i appreciate the grayness of almost all these characters in terms of like they could have made him just a, a evil bad villain and you're like yeah yeah go go be with the man that loves you and that, that appreciates you, blah, blah, blah. But they, it was more of like, oh, hmm. Yeah, maybe maybe we should handle this a little differently. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you're, you're unhappy, and that's mm -hmm. we completely understand. Maybe you should talk about that. Maybe you should step away, but you understand the Indian culture, why she can't. And Because I was like, I told Seth, I was like, can you imagine you wouldn't feel this way if it was a man in her role? Mm-hmm. Because one, he wouldn't be trapped either. <laughs> Completely as, as different societal either. structure uh, issues so you're like dealing you with. You wouldn't feel bad. It's in very this different. Scenario, yeah, because she's she's having an affair, right? Uh, but her performance in the entire thing is just from beginning to middle to the relationship and the chemistry they have to the sadness when she's with the husband to the end part where you know she's in the hospital. It was all brilliant, and the emotion that she brought to it, and the the 
just everything she brought to it. I, it was a brilliant performance on her part. I would love to ask her what it was like to portray the character in terms of had she already, Rocky, had she already been of the opinion that she could fully empathize with this character and that's what naturally draw her to the character mm -hmm. or how much of it was a challenge for her to empathize and step into the shoes of a character who did and thought things that maybe she personally didn't have a connection with. And that's one of the reasons she wanted to portray the character was yeah. the challenge. Because uh, acting is at its core an empathetic endeavor, especially when you're doing something along these lines. My suspicion is it resonated with her. I also would love to know what kind of challenges she may have faced because whatever challenges she faced, I didn't sense a single wall in her performance. I felt she was as vulnerable and open and embracing of everything this character was going through and that she had to express on screen as anything we've seen from actresses recently that we equate to those kinds of actresses who are courageous and brave, like a, a, a Radhika Apte or yeah. a Kalki or uh, 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 we had commented quite a bit. We haven't seen her work most recently, but Swastika Mukherjee is a Bengali actress who's incredibly brave. And I, I, I just, I, this was a, a very, especially, it would be brave and courageous to do this portrayal today, to have done this back in 1985 in India at the time. Everything about this film is just really groundbreaking. Yeah, and everybody else's performance outside of maybe the white girl in the beginning. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> what do you... <laughs> Wow, the white actors in 1985 were just as bad in India as they are now. What a shock. Um, Whoa. Was that was most, yeah. Okay, yeah, please don't let her be on screen yeah. much longer. And I was like, oh, she, she's off somewhere else? Great. <laughs> she was Great. actually so bad it was entertaining to yeah. watch. <laughs> um, but everybody else, like it, the photographer, her lover. I, yeah. I felt their chemistry. Yep. Uh, and I, I liked his character a lot. You could tell, like, he wasn't. I, even though he might have been from India at the beginning, he, he's kind of not as in the culture anymore. Um, and you, you felt all that. The husband, I thought, did a great job at portraying his character, which is yeah. one of the harder I, roles to play of in terms of like... It made me think of a film that I'm looking up. Mm. Uh, by the way, Corbin will look up things on the laptop while we're talking, and sometimes I do it on the phone. <laughs> um, Imagine that. But, yeah, the... Um, the husband character, which is a difficult one to do a lot of times because, one, you don't just want to make him, unless that's how they wrote him, interesting. Just, a, just a dick. Right? Yeah. Um, so interesting. Be, Would I, because uh, sorry, you finish want your him point. to be a little more well-rounded Yeah. Uh, as a character. Yeah. And I felt he was. Yeah. He had so many different... Like, at moments, you're like, bro, you're a dick. Uh, well, then you're also like, I understand also, like, <laughs> you just, your wife just yeah. had an affair on you, but also yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, like, other times when they were like, like when she was talking about having a photographer take a picture of the mom, I felt I was very English for English. They were all being so mean to her. I know. Like, she's this gorgeous woman. What are you talking about? I know. God, <laughs> one, she's like, it, it says right here, she's in her 40s for yeah. one. Like, she's some old hag. <laughs> well, for many people back then it was, and even still today, a 40-year-old woman's an old hag. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Anyway, yeah. What were you say? So I, I was what I looked up. It's really intriguing to me because there's so many similarities to of this to the bridges of Madison County, mm. and this was this was a good six seven years before the book mm. that the film is based on. I really wonder if the author of the book ever saw this film. Is this there, based off a book? Uh, I, I don't know the origin of this, okay, but true. Bridges of Madison County, the film with Clint Eastwood and Meryl Streep, if you haven't seen that, please watch that. Um, that film is based on a book, mm -hmm. The Bridges of Madison County. And it's amazing how similar this story is in, in many respects and in, in other respects it's not. But it reminded me quite a bit in terms of yeah. a woman in a loveless marriage who's never been affirmed for who she is and has kids encounters someone that affirms her and un and that that for me storytelling is wise uh, the plant yeah. symbolism mm -hmm. for her and there's so many things that are definitively bengali that you could get into as well about 
just the, the, the horns drowning out the talking and what that meant to her and the storms happening yeah, and what that means for that her. Element, yeah. yeah, great messaging and the symbolism. And it was very strange because as far as the script is concerned, there were moments where the script was so remarkable and incredible. And then at other times, especially in the beginning, which is forgivable, exposition in the script where you're just scratching your head going, okay, we don't need to show, don't tell. Um, but the the symbolism of that plant from beginning to end and what that meant to her just and 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 how so much of the story is told through her not just her perspective but through her face mm -hmm. i mean there's a lot of films we talk about where the the primary person they're just being unforgiving with close-ups yeah they were, so they were, much of this story is being told by the way she feels and it has nothing to do even her body language the, when you look at the differentiation and I'm I'm guessing this was filmed out of sequence. So the homework she did as an actress, if it was filmed out of sequence, when you watch her body language and her facial expressions from the beginning to when she's in the rain with Raul and she's laughing and free and smiling, and then later after she's had the brain surgery, uh, she yeah. did her homework, man. Yeah, she, she just did, did her homework. Um, and you said, I actually don't know if I agree if it was a fully... I don't know what I would qualify it as a loveless marriage. I'd qualify it more because loveless, I think, like neither of them love each other. I actually think they both probably loved each other as people. I don't think the passion was there uh, at all. It might have been an arranged marriage. And so they kind of, and I think, I, I don't think they fully like love like they should for sure. Um, he saying, clearly not did that. not love her. But I, I don't know that that's fully true. Um, I. I'm not saying he's this great guy. That this is a, a difficult thing I'm trying to explain here. I think it was because I think at the end, at the beginning, they actually showed moments where like he was he was caring for her, and at the end, obviously after she got uh, she tried to kill herself, right? Um, he he definitely showed elements. So I think like he might love her as a person. I don't think he appreciates her as a wife. They're more like roommates that he likes that she's kind of like a mom to him and his family uh, in that aspect. Uh, if that makes sense. Mm. I'm trying to figure out the things where you said he expressed his love to her. Well, like in the beginning, they they um, they made love in the beginning, right? And it wasn't like a... Well, that's because he wanted to have sex. No, but it wasn't like an unpassionate love. Like, it wasn't like he was forcing himself on her. I agree, it wasn't like with Rahul, obviously. Uh, he... he cl <laughs> what I'm trying there to... There was no foreplay. <laughs> he, it was all about him getting off. I'm not trying to say he's this amazing husband. I just don't I fully agree that it would be a full loveless marriage. Well, there that's where I'm asking, yeah. where did you see any well, in, love in, in expressed? The end, he, I think he, he, he deeply cares for her. So maybe that would be the thing. I, I, don't, I don't think it's an uncaring marriage. It's definitely not a, and I, I don't know if it would be unloving. Yeah, I think he loves her more like, he loves his, outside of the sex part, mom. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think he cared about her in, in direct proportion to what she did to make his life the way he wanted his life like to mom. be. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Mom, and, moms and, take care of you. And the wife that she's supposed to be. As long as she fell in line with the yeah. idea of, of what a wife is supposed to be in his mind, he would express something of care toward her. Yes. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I'm, try I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to say he's... This amazing guy, but also I appreciate the fact that he wasn't just this villain either. Uh, he was very, he was much grayer uh, than he was supposed to be. Uh, but then he, you know, he showed his dick moments as well. Um, uh, so, 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 so. Oh, another elements that we, we've briefly touched on, uh, I really appreciated were some of the score elements of like when certain things would happen, mm -hmm. where the big kind of war sirens would go off mm -hmm. at some points, or, yes. or there's there's other times that stuff like that happened yeah some of the insane close-ups that they had especially on her like they just kept getting closer and she yeah. had no room to fail as an actress or be dishonest mm -hmm. yeah nothing she had it was unforgiving uh and then i really actually appreciate it and i think um the, her friend right the um the one that was allowing her basically to have this affair and knew about it the entire time. Right, right, right. Uh, I think that was supposed to be the audience. Her character mm. was more the audience of like, because she basically said, she's like, who am I to who am I to judge you mm -hmm. right here? And they kind of just was witnessing kind of everything because they had the whole, she had the whole view of 
her relationship with her family, her relationship with this guy. Yeah. Wh- how she was unhappy. Right. Uh, and I feel like she was kind of the audience character. Uh, that's a good, a good, uh, good observation. And I liked her. And maybe that's just something yeah. I took from it. No, that's a good observation. Um, but I, I really appreciated her character as well. Uh, I liked it a lot. Um, I like the whole hospital scene, especially the one where she was trying to explain when they were trying to tell her that she needed therapy, basically. Mm-hmm. Which you probably do. I mean, there's nothing wrong with therapy. <laughs> yeah, not at all. If you're so depressed that you tried to kill yourself, you, you probably need you to probably talk to a counselor. Need therapy. Yeah. Uh, it's not the only thing, uh, and not, and I don't think you needed it in the way that they wanted. Which I appreciated. They didn't just relegate her to being mentally ill. Yeah, that was quite mature. That whole scene was, I think, very mature. Yeah, it really was. They were like they were trying to, like, um, think that they were caring for her by telling her they think needs. But she's like, no, I took a job. I think it's, I'm gonna. And then the, the husband was just so caught off guard that she would. She was like, Is my money not enough for you? What? <laughs> Uh, like she, yeah, he have, just he, she could have any needs other than something he could provide. No, for. yeah, to just to just be so completely self absorbed that all you do is see your wife within the construct of what you know your wife should be, yeah. even to the point of not understanding why she tried to kill herself mm-hmm. and that she doesn't, when she said she didn't feel shame for anything she's done and the shock on their faces of how can you not feel ashamed? Well, if you got to know her even a little bit, you might understand why she did what she did, why she doesn't feel any shame. And one of my, if not my favorite moments, it's it's right up there along with the, I, I love the intimacy I, I love yeah, the, the love making scene they yeah, had. It was pretty nineteen eighty five in India. Oh it, it was, was great. wonderful. Yeah. And how how it looked so completely different from I mean when when the husband yeah, was, was jumped on top yeah. of her, she was thinking about a song. And then when she's with Raul, she's fully engaged and vocalizing. And then even when they're done, the afterglow is still this I, I wanna be with you, I wanna touch you. And then at the very end, it, it and I thought the whole time, she's dead. She's going to die. We've even alluded to the fact of this other story of the woman who'd been widowed and went insane, and she either was taken away or she died. I thought that was her end as well. So I appreciated the ending, I think, is incredibly well written in terms of it doesn't end predictably, because mm-hmm. I, was, I was sure she was going to be dead. But the secondary thing was to have that moment with the younger generation standing in front of her and the plant, Mm -hmm. and you left with deciding how her story is gonna end because is her story going to end with her going to Raul or is her story going to end with her staying there and maybe engendering that to the next generation? Is she gonna, how does it end? I love that it was left with- Well, she definitely can't go to Rahul. He's a prisoner of war. Well, (laughs) for now, he may get out. He's not dead. I paused that, and then they didn't allude that he had gotten out or was dead. But he isn't dead. Yeah, I guess. So. I guess. Yeah. (laughs) Go save him, I guess. No, 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 not necessarily (laughs) save him, but he may get out. He may Uh, get out. But, yeah, I I really appreciated the film. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed um, Aparna Sen's um, writing and directing. Yeah, wonderful. And interacting as well. Wonderful. Um, I would love to see more of her in terms of a writer, director, and as an actor. Um, and uh, 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 Rocky, Rocky, right? Rocky Gulzar. I would love to watch more of her work. Watch more of her. She definitely reminded me of Swarovski a little bit. Wouldn't surprise me if Swarovski liked her. A yeah, lot. a lot. Uh, wouldn't surprise me if like that's uh, like an actress she looked up to. Mm-hmm. Um, because sh- how old is the Swarovski? Is she your age or is she a little? Yeah, Swarovski and I are about the same age. I think she's a few years younger than me. Whereas, where is both? Uh, Aparna and Rocky are about my dad's age. They're oh, okay, in their okay. early, they're in their seventies now. She just came out with a film. I think it was last year, and I remember hearing about it, but it was a very small film. It was called The Rapist. Yeah, I saw that in in the credits, and I remember hearing about that film. Uh, and it was last year, so you guys would have. And I think she wrote it and directed it. Um, the thing, the, the 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 thing that I'm most happy about, among many things, I'm happy about, is I the more we can know about women who've been directing film way before Greta Gerwig or any of the other folks in, in our, well, our current generation, dollars, 
Uh, because the first no that we know of, the first known woman in the cinema is actually a French lady in the in the early 20th century, and then the first American woman did it in the 1930s. So, a woman helming a film is a hundred years old. You just don't hear enough about the films that those women did because they've never been given the respect or the notoriety they deserve. I'm really happy to see that this was given notoriety and respect. And India's, I really, India's been doing a lot. I, I really would. This, this for me needs to be in like. I have long. It's this is the criteria for me at the conservatory in Texas when I said when we do plays, I want to do the plays that we would want to put in a time capsule, so that if somebody opened it up 250 years from now, they would see what we felt was the most important stories to remember for all time. And this, for me, in the world of cinema, is one of the most important films in terms of not just the storytelling and the human condition it expresses. It's written and directed by a woman in 1985 in Bengal. Yeah, it's India's wonderful been doing the, film. The female helm films are a lot longer than Hollywood. Way longer. And more prevalence. Uh, and we and as we've learned, very often touching upon topics that were not touched upon here in what's supposed to be the, yeah. you know, yeah. the progressive capital of the world. Uh, anyways, uh, let us know what you think about the film. Uh, if you like it, if you didn't like it, what should be our next uh, Parna Sen? Uh, either and Rocky. Directing or uh, acting. And, and Rocky yeah. as well. And anything... What should be our next Bengali film? Obviously, uh, whether it's Sachit Rai or, like I said, <laughs> whoever. Not, not getting away from Sachit Rai. I would just, we want to explore a little more. Yeah, than, it's like than just watching that. American cinema and only watching Steven Spielberg. It's, it's, there's it's there's great, other directors out there. But it's a great catalog. It's a great catalog, but there's other directors out there. <laughs> Anyways, let us know down below.